The next X-Men film, X-Men Apocalypse, doesn't hit AMC theaters until 2016, but director Brian Singer took to his Instagram to reveal a sneak look at the treatment for the new film. From what we can see in the picture, there is a prologue battle set at the Nile and involving the four horsemen, who were also seen at the end credit scene of X-Men Days of Future Past, along with Apocalypse. John, what do you take away from this image Brian Singer put out? Uh, the first thing, for, you know, I've said this before, I always get excited when the theoretical becomes tangible. Yeah. I'm very excited for X-Men Apocalypse, but now there's something actually kind of, hey, look, a printed page. I know it's <laughs> stupid to get excited about that, but I do. The main thing I take away from this, though, is this, that Brian Singer's still there. Yeah. I know a lot of people started rumbling and there was some talk that maybe because of the controversy or whatever that maybe he would be separating from it and Fox might go in a different direction. But really neither he nor the studio have given any real indication that that's the case. And the fact that Singer's now like getting on Instagram, putting out the treatment, hyping up the film, I think this is a good sign that Singer will be back, he will be directing it because I, I, he just gave us the best X-Men film we've ever had. Mm -hmm. I, so, you know, you know, all due respect to people who have yeah. a, <laughs> really like the first class, but he's given us at least one of the best yes. X-Men yes. films we've ever had. Um, and so I'm very excited he's going back. It's also nice to see that they're going to follow the cues that they did from X-Men mm -hmm. Days of Future Past that started off with heavy action beats, you know? And it looks like from this, scene one, Four horsemen, big battle scene in the Nile. Oh, this is great. So I really like where we're going with this, and that's how I see it. Anyway, Christian, what about you? Yeah, I love it. I actually was one of those people, if, if you go back to our spoiler review that we all did, I said I didn't think Singer would return. I thought it was the, the controversy was going to push over and take him out of it. But what's been going on, it looks like lawsuits are starting to get dropped and things are <laughs> happening. And it's, so at some point, someone at Fox goes, go ahead and post this, kid. You got it. So <laughs> Singer goes, and he wouldn't post this unless you know I'm coming back. In regards to what we see here, yeah, I think you have all you have every right to be excited about this because what it did from that, that end credit scene, some people who were not hardcore X Men fans said, "Well, what's that? What's that mean?" Oh, a lot of people ask. Who that. is yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, this is going to take that away, and went for people who were just going to see an X Men film to see the X Men film. That starts, and then you go back, watch Days of Future Past, and watch that scene. And you go, "Oh, that's cool!" So, so far, I'm very excited about the potential. Amy Rose. Yeah, I had to remember the company we were in for the screening we went to for X-Men <laughs> because they're like, who is that? I'm like, really? And I was like, okay, I need to not be such <laughs> an elitist nerd here. Um, but yeah, I mean, he did this last time with Days of Future Past script as well. And we're all like, ooh, and you're right. It starts off with a bang, with the action sequence, which is smart. And I'm thrilled that Brian Singer is returning. I mean, that is my favorite X-Men film to date. And I think that, you know, it was his redemption uh, since he didn't get to finish the original trilogy. And I'm just really excited. And the character of a Apocalypse. I mean, the rich story. Like, it's just, it's on. So I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled that he's returning. Hopefully. Yeah, very, very excited to see. I, I kept wanting you. Can't you just turn the Instagram feed this way and let me read the whole sentence instead of these fractured words? But you know, you can kind of piece it together that that's a giant action scene. As the powers will be revealed, variety of hey, what's the rest of it? You know. <laughs> so it's, it's an exciting little tidbit, and it's got all the guys' names on it that you want to see mm -hmm. associated with X Men, especially Brian Singer. Now it's like. Total redemption story for Brian Singer, as far as I was concerned. I was like, Jack the Giant Slayer and a couple other products that he had made in the last few yeah. years were yeah. like, hey, I don't know what you're doing besides making movies, but you know, this was a, a total return to a Brian Singer at his best, and I think his best. So yeah. far to date, I think this is my favorite film he's made. I know. gotta tell you, Usual Suspects, usual suspects. Yeah. and, and X-Men Days of Future Past, man. That, that's how much I love this movie, that I'm actually starting to compare it to Usual Flip Suspects. It. Yeah. Flip it for yeah. real. It's on the same, <laughs> same level for me, yeah, for sure. And you know, you just brought up something totally unrelated topic, yet another, one of the reasons I don't, I'm not thrilled with Instagram. Why, why do you make us make the stupid <laughs> picture square? Anyway, that's a totally separate issue. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.